So row echelon form is a type of form that we can put a matrix in using row operations. And there are three conditions. The first is to have all non-zero rows above any zero rows. Basically, this just says if we have a row of all zeros, we should move it to the bottom of the matrix. The second one, so the first non-zero entry, in each row, should be to the right of the non-zero entry. Of the row above it. So basically we're going to have the first non-zero entry in each matrix or in each row. And if I go one row down, that first non-zero entry will shift to the right. If I go down another row, that first non-zero entry will shift to the right again. And then the third example, all entries below a pivot, which I'll define in a second, must be zero. So a pivot is this first non-zero entry in each row. So once I have the first non-zero entry in a row, everything below that should be a zero. We can also have reduced row echelon form. So this one has all the properties of row echelon form. Plus two more. We're going to abbreviate REF, row echelon form. It also has a fourth property, which says the first non-zero entry in each row. So that pivot needs to be a one. And then the fifth, all entries above a pivot are zero. So with row echelon form, everything below the pivots needs to be zero. Reduced row echelon form has that, plus everything above as well. So we'll do this one theorem and then do some examples. So two matrices are row equivalent if and only if they can be reduced to the same row echelon form. So if you remember, row equivalent just says that they have the same solution set. And so as long as they can be reduced to the same row echelon form, they'll have the same solution set. So now let's do some examples of this. So one example would be 1, 0, 4, 0, 1, 7, 0, 0, 0. This is in both row echelon and reduced row echelon. In particular, you can see our pivots are ones, and they move down and to the right. And in addition, everything above and below them are zero. Another example, minus two, zero, four, zero, one, seven, and then zero, zero, eight. This one is in row echelon form. You can see our three pivots, the negative two, the one, and the eight, move down and to the right. Everything below these entries is a zero. And so this is in row echelon form. 